Welcome back. Former President Trump under oath today in the New York civil fraud, civil fraud trial that could decide the future of his business empire. Naomi Ruckham has more from the courthouse where the judge reminded the current GOP frontrunner the proceedings are not a political rally. Former President Trump calmly stared at the news cameras before Monday's session got underway. But not long after he was sworn in, things got testy. Trump drew several rebukes from state Supreme Court Judge Arthur N. Gorin for giving speeches, not answers. The judge called a brief recess asking Trump's attorneys to control their client. Trump has in there. Columbia University law professor John Coffey says provoking the judge won't help Trump's cause. And Donald Trump does very well in political campaigning when he explodes, but it doesn't work in court. The current GOP presidential frontrunner is accused in an alleged scheme to dramatically inflate his wealth in order to get better loans and financing. He testified he feels some of his properties are actually undervalued and outside the courtroom repeated his claims of political persecution. It's a very unfair situation. This is really election interference. That's all it is. This trial is ridiculous. New York Attorney General Letitia James said she expected name calling at the microphones. But at the end of the day, the only thing that matters are the facts and the numbers. And numbers, my friends, don't lie. The potential financial losses are staggering. The case could cost Trump $250 million in penalties and bar his iconic company from operating in New York. That would really uh, virtually terminate his business empire. Last week, Trump's two older sons testified, downplaying their connection to financial records. Eldest daughter Ivanka Trump is expected to take the stand on Wednesday.